Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch our parents' information video. I am Jamie Clayton, the head teacher here at Red Hill School, and along with Cathy Savage and some of our amazing students, we aim to provide you with as much information as we possibly can about the key stage two to three transition that your child will experience. We know that no virtual event can replace the face-to-face -face interactions that Red Hill prides itself upon. But what we aim to do in this short video is give you as much information as you possibly need prior to September and at the end of the video we will provide you with contact details so you can let us know any questions and queries that you may have. We encourage you to ask those questions so that your child feels happy, healthy and successful prior to joining us here at Red Hill. I'll now hand over to Cathy Savage who will share with you some further information on the transition process. Thank you. Hello everyone. It is an absolute pleasure to welcome you to our virtual induction presentation. We are very much looking forward to welcoming you and your child to the Red Hill community and our induction events mark the start of what we hope will be a very happy and successful five years partnership. Over the past few weeks, I feel very lucky to have been able to go into many of your children's primary schools and have more visits planned where that's possible. I've also communicated with all your children's teachers who provided me with a wonderful picture of each individual child. All that has made me look forward even more to welcoming the year group in September. We hope that this presentation will provide you with important information, of course, but above all, we hope it gives you reassurance as your child embarks on this significant change. I know, both as a teacher and as a parent, that transition is an exciting but sometimes also quite daunting time. I hope we're able to address your questions and concerns here, but if you have anything outstanding to ask me, please don't hesitate to email. Strong, positive relationships lie at the heart of Red Hill. Trust, tolerance, kindness, mutual support, these are our core values and ones we believe are essential for a safe, happy and successful community. The key to all positive relationships is without doubt communication and we really want to emphasise just how vital communication is to ensuring that your child thrives at Red Hill. There is a common perception that secondary schools are unapproachable but we want you to know that we really do welcome your involvement in your child's education here. Please don't ever think that you're bothering us or that your concern is too small to let us know about. We really do want to know and we'll always listen and do everything we can to resolve any issues. I mentioned that this presentation is partly about sharing important information and we very much hope that you have already been enjoying our Year 6 to Year 7 transition page on the website. We already have a large number of video clips involving our staff and Year 7 students and many, many more will be added over the coming days. Our Year 7s have been especially busy this week, recording their thoughts and sharing their enthusiasm about their first year at Red Hill. These conversations will be available soon for you to watch with your child and will hopefully help to reassure and build confidence about September. There will also be a virtual tour to help your child become familiar with the school environment. We believe that you have made an excellent choice for your child. Red Hill is an incredibly high attaining school achieving ac academic excellence across the curriculum. We are very proud of this. We recognise that this is built on the exceptional levels of care we provide for our students. Our pastoral team are exceptional. We like to feel we already know your child before they have arrived. We will certainly get to know them very quickly once they have joined. As a school, we, try, we strive to make every child happy, healthy and successful. I promise you, we will offer the best care for your son and daughter. Whilst the pastoral team play a significant part in making the transition process a smooth one, all of our staff have a role to play. Red Hill staff look after each and every child on a lesson by lesson basis. Our SEND team is led by Emma Waldridge. They offer a superb support service that meets the needs of every SEND learner. The pastoral team consists of form tutors, a pastoral support assistant and head of year. All of these staff members are experienced in making sure your child's transition will be as smooth as possible. Alongside these teams, we have a strong set of subject leaders who monitor the quality of education your child receives on a daily basis. Our senior leadership team is made up of three assistant head teachers, a deputy head teacher and myself. 
We are all incredibly approachable and welcome communications from you. It has been a challenging year for the current Year 7s, as it has for all of our children, but they've more than risen to that challenge and shown determination, resilience and a wonderfully positive attitude. We are very proud of them and would like to introduce you to a few of them now. My favourite thing about Red Hill is probably the clubs, like the music clubs and the choirs. My favourite thing about Red Hill is probably the science practicals because they're really cool and you, don't, you get to mix a bunch of different chemicals. My favourite thing about Red Hill is probably the freedom of all the different things that you can do here and like all the different subjects and what you can do at break and lunch. Hello, I'm with Tor Swinford and we're here to talk to you about our Year 7 experience. Just like your children, we did not have face-to-face -face induction days. However, we have all made new friends and enjoyed our Year 7 experiences. Red Hill is an amazing school and all of the teachers are so kind and welcoming. If your children are struggling with lessons, there are always support and educational resources for all. Our experience has been one of the most unique years, but even though we have had many lockdowns in between, there are still lots of good times. At Red Hill, everyone is so welcoming and there is always someone to help you out. There will always be new faces and friends to socialise with, there are also after school clubs and shows that you can enjoy. All of us at Red Hill are excited to see your bright and brand new faces. I am from Greenfield and I just want to talk about how amazing Pastor is and all the staff at Red Hill. Everybody here is so welcoming for anything like worried about pets or if you forgot anything, you can go there for absolutely anything and it's a great community right here. I'm from Greenfield and making friends isn't really that hard. You don't really stick to your friendship groups necessarily, but you can if you want to. And it's okay if you're not with your friends in your classes because you sort of sat in a season plan and you can, um, you can sit with them at break and lunch as well. Thank, Thank you, you for listening. Our curriculum is really important to us. We have a strong curriculum which all Year 7s will have access to. Year 7 students will experience a full timetable focusing upon the arts, science, English, mathematics, humanities, modern foreign languages, creative subjects and PSHE. We are really proud of the quality of education Red Hill offers. Outside of the taught curriculum, we have an extensive offer of extracurricular activities. We hope your child will flourish in their learning at Red Hill. Please refer to our website or to the transition toolkit that all of your children should have received to see details of our uniform. You will also have received a letter outlining how to purchase the blazer and food kit. Parents and carers often have questions about uniform and you can find pictures on the website of what is and isn't acceptable. My experience, certainly for my own children, is that they will try to convince you that everyone wears trainers or everyone's wearing this type of skirt, Mum, so we would really encourage you to check on the website rather than to take their word for it. The children especially are always keen to know what equipment they will need to bring, and this is a list of what we require to be brought into school. This is also included in the Transition Toolkit. I would just like to emphasise that school bags need to be large and suitable for carrying books, PE kits and so on. It's worth bearing in mind that students will need to walk around a lot during the day as well as possibly to and from school. On the first day pupils will receive their timetables and I would strongly recommend that they get into the habit of checking their timetables the night before school and packing their bags with what they need. This will help them to be organised, which is often one of the things that Year 7 find most challenging. We know that the lack of a face-to-face -face induction day may pose many questions for you. These questions will be answered as we communicate with you over the summer period. We are also unsure at this moment in time when we will be able to start our school year. The Government are currently publishing information about lateral flow testing and staggered start times etc for students. I promise you, as soon as we have information on what our arrangements will be for September, we will communicate with these with you. So the all important first day in September. Subject to any changes, arrival will be between 8.30 and 8.40 in the morning. Pupils on that morning should come straight to reception and there will be lots of staff on the hand, on the drive and around that area 
to meet them and to welcome them. Pupils will then be guided to their tutor groups and at that point timetables will be given out and there will be a general welcome and introductory session from their form tutor who will be a very important person for your child. Time will be given on the first day for orientation and familiarisation. So children will be shown around the school and get the opportunity to find all the important places for them. It's important to note that on the first day, Year 7 will have a section of that day on their own in school before the older ch children arrive so that they have the opportunity to acclimatise to their new surroundings. They will then have the opportunity to start their timetables and to experience some of, the, some of their lessons that day. Things they should bring on that day, as I've already mentioned, a suitable bag, of course. They will also need their pencil case with the equipment that I've outlined. And very important to have a bottle of water with them that can be refilled then during the day. If your child needs medication, we would be grateful if you would provide that in a named bag and for it to be handed, in, handed into reception on arrival in school. Mobile phones can be brought to school, but we must stress that those would then be the responsibility of the child and that they should be turned off and in the, tucked into the inside pocket of the child's blazer during the day. PE kit will not be needed on the first day. Please also remember to activate your parent pay account, details of which are in the letter regarding uniform, so that if your child chooses to have a hot meal on the first day, they'll be able to do so. If your child is in receipt of free school meals at their primary school, that will transfer automatically to Red Hill in September. You've heard earlier in our presentation from some of the youngest members of our school community, and I'd now like to introduce you to Zoe, who is at the end of year 10 and about to go into year 11, and can tell you a little about her experience of being at Red Hill. Nearing my first day at Red Hill was absolutely daunting. I didn't have many friends I wanted to stay with over primary school and I really thought that Red Hill would be harder than I expected it to be but let me reassure you that this community of people is one of the loveliest community of people I've come into contact with. All the teachers are an excellent support network and I've been offered so many incredible opportunities while being at this school. I really am privileged to be here. My advice for your younger children who will be here in September is to just enjoy it while you're here. With Covid, all of us have realised that we need to enjoy the moment and embrace all of the opportunities that are given to you. While being at Red Hill, you will be offered to do many things and my advice is to take as many of them as you can. Make as many friends as you can and the teachers will be there to support you. Over the last year, they've been absolutely incredible with online learning and blended learning and making all of us feel comfortable in what is an extremely uncomfortable situation. So your first day at Red Hill won't be as daunting as you think it will be. And now we'd like to introduce you to some members of our senior student team. Hi O6, we're part of the senior team and Red Hill can't wait to welcome you into the school. The senior team are a group of friendly, approachable students who are there to help you. We're sorry we can't be here to greet you in person, but next year's team will be here to help you through your journey at Red Hill. I can't tell you how much we're looking forward to meeting your children in September and to working with them and with you in the coming five years. My daughter is in a similar position to your child. She is moving from year six into year seven in September and she's got all of those emotions that I'm sure your son or daughter are feeling at this moment in time. We fully understand you may have many questions Please feel free to contact us using the email addresses on this slide. Thank you once again for watching this video and please stay in touch.